Good morning everyone and I hope that you're enjoying this beautiful pump on Bitcoin and in this video let's talk about the price chart let's talk about the technicals first we're going to cover some interesting uh, fundamentals and some breaking news that are not very good unfortunately and then discuss how it could affect the price and then move to technical analysis it's been a while since we've done real pure technical analysis that's so that's what we're gonna do and without any further ado if you're brand new to the channel you know what to do hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and go down below into the comment section and call me Mr. Spot on for the algorithms and for just juicing me up with energy and thank you in advance so okay let's just jump right into this so DCG and let's start with some negatives because we're seeing the pump and everything everybody's hyped and everybody's trying to ignore everything that is happening right now you know because of the pump but anyway this is very important uh DCG's crypto broker Genesis that is getting worse with DCG right now owes creditors actually more than three billion dollars <sighs> You remember that the whole DCG was valued at about 10 plus billion dollars and so that 30% of it is actually owed to Genesis. <laughs> this could turn out very ugly. The next thing is that in search of cash, the DCG is looking at their $500 million venture capital portfolio. So this is the crazy story right now that could unfold is DCG starting to unload their holdings and if they're going to get to grayscale and dumping some of the altcoins obviously they're going to start with altcoins and then if they're going to get to their 650,000 bitcoin that could additionally add on to the selling pressure but hopefully it's not going to get there but it seems like they're moving towards liquidating their assets so that's quite painful and guys you cannot ignore this the next thing is also that digital currency group ceo their ceo barry silbert breaks silence and says past year most difficult of his life guys it was painful it was difficult this and that these are guys are guilty those are guilty so as usual so this is like it's setting some kind of a stage for a huge breakdown potentially even when a ceo just comes out and says it's been a difficult year of his life I mean you can imagine what this could potentially mean right I mean this is very far from actually finding a damn solution the next thing uh, last before we move to the short and that is that the crypto firm Genesis and Gemini are currently charged by SEC uh, uh, with selling unregistered securities so if all of this wasn't enough uh, the SEC is actually going after them Gary Ginsler is like a damn half stupid shark who is just jumping into the blood you know wherever there is blood and somebody to go after he's just going after them just to make sure to kill them to put that last nail in the coffin so this whole situation guys if it all boils down to something that we could potentially see and that is you know selling off of their assets this could just simply add on to the extra selling pressure and therefore we could see you know big suppression in bitcoin price but now let's move on to the technicals i know that you all really want to see this because right now the dcg is the biggest threat for us when it comes to the bitcoin price but certainly you know you could argue saying that you know people are expecting it because it's been unfolding for so long and everybody understands their whole etc for sure however so it could be priced in theoretically into the price but if they really gonna start dumping a huge number of bitcoin then this is something that is certainly not priced in just physically so that's the only thing that i'm really worried about at this point okay so talking about the technicals and guys i'm we're gonna go through quite a few things here which really you won't understand by the end of this video you understand exactly what is happening to bitcoin right now and also remember that on the 15th of January it's going to be the end of my uh, minus 40 percent Christmas and New Year sale on my university graduating education so if you want to become one of my proud students and do as amazing as Enrique I've showed you the statistics of one of my students previously who hasn't traded before and literally within a few months is almost like a professional trader so if you really want to do it quick then there is a link down in the description of this video uh, as well as in the pinned comment to a 40 percent discount on my famous certified and fully accredited trading learning programs which is extremely rare mostly people just say you sell you a shit course which is like for two weeks or something and then it's completely incomplete so in my case it's a five months long certified and accredited trading learning program where you literally learn everything so that's why it's called university great because it's literally like a university so this is what you want and again only a couple of days left on this 40 percent discount so let's move on to the technicals and number one currently we are standing at a very important resistance in the daily chart and guys i just cleaned up the chart and you as you can see we had this falling wedge which is a bullish pattern for sure I told you before that we could check along before breaking out but right now in this positive CPI numbers we are currently trying to break out and actually as you can see let me toggle on auto and we actually closed above it right here and we actually also the reason why I have volume on we actually closed with quite a bit of volume which is very positive I mean I have to say it's very positive so then the big question is are we gonna get rejected from this area 
or not. And again, all of our trades, if you want to see all of our trades and go down into the description of this video and click on the link to my free discord channel. And this is where we're posting all of our trades with all the explanations. Not every trade is a profit. We're still people, but we've done really well last year. And this year we want to do at least two to three times better and make a lot of money for our community members. All you need to do is join VIP trades right here. There's a simple instruction and our community members are posting profits like every single day, which is quite crazy. So join us right now. But this guys isn't really the only resistance that we have to conquer. It's seemingly we just retested it. If we're going to go to a smaller time frame, then we're going to see that we just retested it right here. Just spot on. Look at how spot on it is. I mean, technical analysis. When you know what the fuck you're doing, then this is absolutely beautiful. It works beautifully. So then now the big question is, are we going to get rejected from here? Because if yes, this could spell quite a bit of trouble. That's why we've taken a quick short trade just with, with minimal risk, just in case if we are going to get rejected and then try to break it again, just for this small, quick move. But again, all of our trades are in the discord down below. So uh, now this is only a small picture. Now the next picture is going to paint a bigger picture. <laughs> so what we want to pay attention to right now is a huge number of resistances. So the resistance that I just showed you, which is basically right here that we're currently standing on it. And then the next huge resistance is going to be this area in between 19,500 and 20,000. So it's like a big order block just was that was previously created just by this price action right here. So next one is uh, well, it's also going to coincide really well with this yellow resistance. So this area guys, $20,000 is going to be an incredibly important level for us. And for us to understand why 20k is so important, let's go here. And we're going to see that we've been in this falling wedge right here. And we also had a very important support for it. And as you can see, it actually turned into a resistance right here. Well, it's not perfect, but almost right here as well. Well, it's quite far away, but nonetheless, so it still is going to be, I believe, very, very strong and very historical and very relevant. So 20k and this is where you know, it's just coming in as very strong resistance right here. And then the next one, if we pass it, then possibly 22,500, the next area and 25,000. And certainly it's going to coincide with the most important resistance, in my opinion, which is going to be at about 20,500. And this resistance, guys, is just basically this trend line. I mean, this downward slope, this resistance, because if we actually break it, then we actually that's going to open up the door to something like 30 plus K in my personal humble opinion. But before we get too excited, we have to remember everything I mentioned about the DCG, right? So also another huge resistance that is coming in for us um, is going to be the weekly EMA ribbon that we need to cover. And that's pretty much the whole area. And this brings me to the topic as to what is going to happen. I don't believe honestly, on this CPI reading right now, especially understanding that yes, it's positive. CPI is the core one is finally going down. But it doesn't mean that Fed isn't going to keep the interest rates for too high for too long. And the question is, how fast is it going to keep going down? And what kind of because there is always a lag when we're doing quantitative tightening, there is always a lag on the economy itself. So we can actually see a recession because of it. Therefore, just because of this CPI, just punching through all of this resistance is just ridiculous, in my opinion. So right now, now, we certainly punched through the daily EMA ribbon, which has historically been quite bullish, as we can see, like, for example, we pushed through it here. And then we also went, when we have the Chinese FUD, we actually pushed through it here. And then it led into the continuation of the bull market. But is this, you know, we actually pushed through it before we pushed through it here, we also pushed through it here. So is that really that big of a deal? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that this move could be sustained for a little bit of time, just because you know, we actually broke a lot of very important resistances, and especially this very important resistance at 18,200. But nonetheless, we still have so many even bigger resistances coming in. And the macro factors are simply not helping us at this point, like at all, nothing has changed except for positive CPI, which could be just short term hoping. So therefore, let's go and quickly take a look at Dixie, which also is going to give us some hopium because yesterday on this CPI, Dixie has dropped significantly. And you know, it's starting to look really nice, quite frankly. And every time when we saw a huge reversal in Dixie, it was very bullish for any other asset, any other currency, including Bitcoin. So uh, so therefore, we are seeing very bullish momentum for Bitcoin in Dixie, which Dixie is bearish, therefore, Bitcoin is bullish. So that's nice. We finally broke this support of 13, uh, 103, uh, 800. So that's very, very important. But also a very important resistance, guys, 
which you have to pay attention to right now is this and we are currently standing at a very important resistance in s p 500 and this is going to you know spell potentially spell trouble for us because you remember this wedge that we've been in you know this is incredibly important for us and we get, there's one more metric i really want to show you before i give you my conclusion and that is you remember this whole wedge and right now we actually had this kind of a you know bottom bottom cut you know, we could call it a cup with a handle and potentially, you know, if we actually gonna break this resistance at about 4,000 points right here, then it could actually give us a very nice bullish target. I mean, I, I'm not gonna even measure it. It's something pretty crazy, something like, you know, 4,600. So, you know, the bull market could theoretically, people start screaming bull market is back. So this is very important resistance for us, which is gonna be followed by 4125. But I wouldn't worry too much about this. What I really wanna see is the break above with huge volume potential retest in S&P 500 and then you know the confirmation of this whole pattern even though I don't like patterns but in this instance on this CPI this could be a short-term relief that we could see and this would actually very well coincide with let me find it so this right here and this is the Bitcoin shorts and right now as you can see into this CPI also yesterday we had a huge drop in Bitcoin shorts a lot of short traders are actually getting liquidated right now which is good. That's nice. Let me know that in the comments if you're happy to see naysayers of Bitcoin getting whooped. That's nice. So, but nonetheless, we're seeing a huge monumental drop on Bitfinex of short trades. I mean, as you can see, it's it's a huge, huge drop. So there's almost, you could say, like we are at the local low you could all, almost argue in terms of the short trade so people are very careful shorting bitcoin right now which is quite a bullish one so this brings me to the conclusion of this whole video i'm thinking that this whole we could again as i mentioned in previous video on this cpi reading on this whole hopium we could go up to something like this area of 20k and then i think that this kind of a move is going to get exhausted and we're going to move chug along maybe even go lower and then uh, depending on again all everything is going to have be happening the next cpi reading pc reading the interest rate decision from fed and also a bunch of other stuff and most importantly i still think that 2023 is going to be the year of basically side movish accumulation and then finally into 2024 into halving we're gonna see mega relief and the beginning of the real bull market so stay smart short-term relief rally for sure mind these resistances use proper risk and money management become one of my students today so that you know how to trade properly join Bybit and Bitget, claim all the bonuses so you have extra money to trade with and check out this tutorial if you're interested in how to use proper risk and money management and as always peace and love thomas Stay smart, stay rich, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.